So here's a quick tip if you need to remove a property from an object that you're working with in JavaScript. So let's say we've got an address variable here and it represents an address stored as an object and we want to remove a certain part of it before we display it to the user. So let's say we want to remove the region. Well, if we actually want to modify the variable that's stored in the address, we can simply use the delete keyword and then specify the variable name and then the property that we want to remove. So let's say region. And you can see in the output on the right hand side that the region property has now been removed from that address object and it's actually modified the original address object so that's what we're using here uh, to display the output on the right hand side. So obviously the region property is an object itself, it's got another object inside it. What if we want to actually remove one of those properties individually? So can we nest the path for our delete statement? Well yeah, of course we can. We can just say let's remove the code from the region object. And you can see now on the output on the right hand side we've got the state still in the region property but the code property has now been removed. It's worth saying as well, if you want to actually keep the property in the object, but you just want to remove its value, you can also just assign a null or a faulty value uh, to the property directly. If you just remove that delete keyword there. And you can see in the output on the right hand side, we've still got the code property in the object, but its value is now null. So sometimes you might not want to actually modify the original object. You might want to keep that address variable just as it is. So what we can do is create a new variable and actually remove the property that we don't want using the rest operator to get the rest of the object whilst destructuring any other properties that we don't need. So for example, what that would look like is we'd set up some new variables here. So say we wanted to remove the region property again, and then we just say address uh, without region. We can give this variable any name uh, that we want here, and then just use a destructuring assignment uh, from the address object and if we then use this address without region object in our output you can see that the region property is no longer appearing uh, that's actually now stored in a separate variable called region and of course if we actually use the original address object as well you can see that hasn't been modified the region property still exists in there. So hopefully that's shown you a few different ways of deleting properties from an object stay tuned for more web dev tips.